Asbel. We stand on the brink of the most perilous battle of our lives. Sir? Thanks to Pascal, I now wield the same power as you do. But if I hope to be of assistance, I need you to show me that power. You want to see my power... in action? Now that I think about it, we haven't sparred one-on-one -on -one since I was a student in training. This is not training, and I will hold nothing back. This time will be for real. I completely understand, sir. I... I vowed to become stronger so I could protect everyone. Then let me see that resolve reflected in your steel. I lost. Is that all? Sir? Do you really want me to go ahead and finish you off? Come on! Answer me, Asbel! Captain Malak, will you please fight me again? I must defeat you if I hope to become a man who can protect his friends. Look at you, babbling on to your foes. <clears throat> You're nothing but a pair of lips flapping in the breeze. You don't have the power to protect anyone. You said this was no training bout, Captain. So ready yourself. I haven't lost if I still draw breath. Somehow. <sighs> so the day I lose to a student has finally come. Sir. You know, Asbel, I'll be completely frank with you. I left Fendel behind because I didn't believe in the power of words. That's... That's why I couldn't say anything to Kurt. Captain. 
I think that people who trust their own power also have faith in the power of their words. So keep talking, Asbel. Speak your vows. Shout your convictions. Let them ring across the land. I said this fight was for true. Now, do with me as you will. I will make this quick. Captain. Whoa, wait! Don't do it for real! <laughs> 